Erection problems. How does a penile implant work? In France, around 3.5 million men suffer from impotence. It is also known as erectile dysfunction, which is the repeated inability to get or maintain an erection. This problem can be a source of anxiety and hang-ups. What solutions are there? There are several alternatives, such as oral medication, placing a gel in the urethra, an intracavernous injection, or even the use of a vacuum pump. If these treatments do not work, an inflatable or semi-rigid penile implant can be fitted during surgery as a last resort. Like any treatment, it has benefits and drawbacks that should be discussed with a doctor. And how does a penile implant work? During an erection, the blood normally flows into and fills the corpora cavernosa in the penis. If the blood doesn't flow or there is not enough, there is no erection. The penile implant features two cylinders that are inserted into the corpora cavernosa. In an inflatable prothesis, they are connected to a reservoir placed in the abdomen, itself connected to a pump placed under the testicles. The entire device is internal, no component or connection can be seen externally. The reservoir contains a fluid. When the patient wants an erection, the pump allows him to send water to the cylinders and inflate the penis. And when the erection is no longer needed, the patient returns the water to the reservoir. Inflatable penile implants are preferred as they are most similar to a natural sensation, both at rest and during an erection. What happens during surgery? The patient is admitted on the day of surgery. The operation lasts around 1 hour and 30 minutes and patients are discharged the next day with a painkiller prescription. Wound care should be provided by a nurse at home until healing is complete. This takes 3 to 4 weeks on average. The patient should not activate the implant for 6 weeks. Activation will be discussed during a specific consultation six weeks after surgery. Are there any complications? In most cases, surgery takes place without complications. However, any surgery comes with a certain number of risks. The major risk is infection. The risk is between 0.5 and 3%. If an infection occurs, the implant is usually removed during a new surgical procedure. In some cases, a new implant might be fitted during further surgery or even a temporary semi-rigid implant. What has been the feedback from patients? 80% of patients who have made this choice are satisfied and their sex life has improved. Patients have orgasms and can give them. Most partners are also satisfied with the device. If you would like to know more, please contact your urologist.